Depending on when you're doing it right. Yeah. So, well, you know. No one's stout. He's going to be nah, making we'll sure get, it's getting yeah, executed. Get right, for sure. Hey, appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> you, you bleed green, man. Yeah, always. Yes, sir. Love you. Love you, man. Y'all know I usually make my reaction videos later in the day, but today is a different day. I had to do this one first, and I give my prediction of the Eagles versus Falcons later in the day, but this is a Jalen Hurts and Jason Kelsey interview. But let's go over this clip. You but you know, know I'm going to. <laughs> what, uh... Yeah, a lot of time in this yeah. spot in particular. Oh, for sure. All right. First question, do you miss me? Just say yes. I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I needed that. I needed that, man. I do miss you. Well, I'm just going to tell you this, that right. it's a great feeling to be missed. Yeah. And I think that that speaks to, that speaks to the impact, the presence, um, your tenure, you know, the, the experiences, you know, you, you, you had a lot of guys that fed off of that. Yeah. So. You know, a lot of people don't get their flowers when they're here, but for sure, I told you how many times I've appreciated you, and um, I tell you again, man. Like <laughs> you know, just uh, you know how you welcomed me when I was a young player in here. Nobody expected me to go in there and play, you know, as a rookie. Oh, we and knew. There you, you yeah. knew, yeah, we knew, but yeah. that's what it was supposed to be like, you know. And I think um, when you have transitions like that and you have moments like that, it's that easier to, to pass the torch, if you will, you for know. Sure. Because everybody knows what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Everybody knows. So. I know when you're doing it right. Yeah. So, well, you know. No one's stout. He's going to be nah, making sure it's getting yeah, executed. Get right. For sure. Hey, appreciate <laughs> you, bro. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> you, you bleed green, man. Yeah, always. Yes, sir. Love you. Love you, man. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yes, Go sir. dominate. Gotcha. I mean, don't dominate. I'm independent. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we know. First of all, I don't curse a lot in my videos, as you guys know. But we got to beat the shit out of the Falcons. After this interview, we have to beat the shit out of the Falcons with or without A.J. Brown. First of all, when I first seen this, I, I got that little pause, that little lump in my throat, man. I'm like, man, Jason Kelsey in the Jalen Hurts interview and Jason Kelsey retired. But. You guys got to check this one out. It's on ESPN. It was a great interview. I mean, a phenomenal interview. Jalen Hurst opened up a little more. And it's kind of weird seeing Jason Kelsey on the other side, but he's on the other side now. So, um, again, we got to beat the hell out of the Falcons. I liked everything I heard. They talked about the collapse a little bit in 2023. They also wanted to depth about uh, Saquon Barkley. Like how, you know, he's been added. Then they talked about the 2024 offense and Jalen Hurts was basically like, you know, we learning, we growing and we have a talented team. He like, you know, we had talented teams, but we got to take that next step, meaning like we got to win the Super Bowl. So that seemed like that been a the mindset. They talked about Kellen Moore a little here and there. And it sound like based on what Jalen Hurts was saying about Kellen Moore, it's like, yeah, we still trying to figure it out. It's week one. It is what it is. We talked about Cam Jurgens, how him and Cam, you know, still trying to work they little things how things out here and there. So this interview was great, but this was an intimate moment because all I heard last year and even after or before week one, I should say, these two haven't been having the best relationship because Jason Kelsey felt one way, Jalen Hurts felt another way. Based on this interview, that's just simply not true. That's not true at all. I feel like if there was something last year, it was just frustration of losing. Like they couldn't figure it out. The coaching staff, we didn't have a coaching staff that could adjust on the defense or offense. Like they were just too inexperienced. And that could have been the frustration. But those two, I highly doubt there was a problem. I highly doubt there was a problem, especially after seeing this interview. So whoever was feeding those lies, I don't know who it was. Was it those newcomers? You know, we were just signing or whatever. But these two really get along. I I could see these two, even though Jalen Hurts, I don't see him in media as much. But when he talked to media or if he decides to go with media when he retires, I could see him working with Jason Kelsey a lot and Jason Kelsey bringing that personality personality out of him because 
I, I feel like this is one of the best Jalen Hurts interviews like ever. So um, that's what I took from this. Again, the lies from last year about them two not being on the same page, just simply not true at all. And what I also took, again, when they talked about the 20, 2024 Eagles, I, I'm extremely optimistic. Like, this team can be special. I really do. I, I really do think this team could be special because they learned it from last year. They learned it from last year, and they want to excel this year and just be better. He talked about Nick Sirianni, too, as well, like how Nick Sirianni is still the commander-in-chief. So I, I think even last year, they there probably was like overstepping because you, you heard stuff like, yeah, it got to points where Jalen Hurst and the whole offense is just do their own thing. You started to see the separation between the coach, coaches and the players. But now you just don't feel that with this team this year. I think everybody is on the same page. Everybody's main goal is to win and not do their own thing. It felt like last year was an individual thing. So, I, again, I'm, I'm extremely optimistic. And, again, everything I heard about these two last year was a total lie. Just a total lie, man. But, again, man, again and again and again, y'all got to check this interview out. Hell, I hate Monday Night Football. I really do. But we're going to get more of these. Hey, we could have a Monday night game every week because I, I, I like this type of dynamic. I like to see QB1 comfortable. You know, they had to get their stuff off at the end. You, Jason Kelsey, like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm independent. I'm independent. I can't say y'all just win. Jalen Hurst gave him a look like, man, you bleed green, big dog. What are you talking about? I don't care where you at. You bleed green, big dog. But these two, again, really love each other. And um, I wish, wish the best of luck for the Eagles to win, man. We, we got to win. I ain't going to say I wish the best of luck. We better win, man. We better win. And, again, my next video that come out later, I'll go more to death about the game. But I think we should dominate the Falcons, man. You got to dominate the Falcons so we can take the NFC. 49ers lost. Cowboys lost. Lions lost. Yeah, you got to play the Saints. Yeah, you got to play Tampa. And those could be your tiebreakers. Those could be your tiebreakers. So this is the time you got to, you know, take command of the NFC. It's two up in the air. Eagles, take command of this. Take it. But that's all I got for you guys today. And this is Eagle Al, man. I'm out.